Hi, I'm Micah Bell, and this is Deliverance Talk. I recently read an article in a leading magazine about a new technique that psychiatrists and psychologists are using to help people that so-called hear voices. And, you know, they're defined, people like this are defined as being schizophrenic. They're, they're diagnosed this way, and this is, it's a sad thing because isn't it true that we all hear voices? <laughs> well, in this case, the people are so troubled by it that they, they need some help. And what's amazing is that these people in the medical field have decided that the best way to deal with this is to help the people come to peace with these voices, begin to listen to them, even become friends with them, and even look to them for advice. Now, this is not only very sad, but, you know, it's very dangerous because we know that there are people that claim they hear a voice that tells them to murder somebody or something like that. Voices. The Bible speaks of voices. In the case of the New Testament, we find that there's a few times that a voice was heard, it says, from heaven. And obviously it was a voice of the Heavenly Father speaking primarily to Jesus. Jesus took three of the men up on the mountain and Peter, James, and John said, I want to show you something. And they heard the voice. A voice was heard by them. So there are voices other than our voices. There are voices that we actually hear in our mind. And they're for real. Of course, we can look at it this way. There's my voice that I hear in my own head. I talk to myself sometimes, I'm sure you do too. But then there are other voices. Of course, as a believer in Christ, I depend on hearing a voice. I depend on God's voice to lead me. And I do hear his voice, M not audibly. I have heard his voice a few times audibly. And uh, it was amazing. But mostly I hear his voice in an impression in my spirit, in my mind. And I find great help with this and comfort with this, that I have someone that will help me. But then I hear other voices too. I hear the voices sometimes that want to accuse me, voices that want me to be fearful, voices that want me to give up, all kinds of things, uh, negative things in my life. And I know where this comes from. You know, a voice that says, who do you think you are? Well, I know where that comes from. There are demonic voices that speak to people. We know that. And I don't think anybody is excluded. What we need to do is be able to discern which voice is which. And so the more you are able to discern that this voice is not of the Lord and it's not uh, of, of my own mind and, and know that it's demonic, then, then to deal with that and say no, and, and resist that and renounce that. I think probably no matter how much we grow as believers that we're going to always have a voice coming at us trying to misguide us or mislead us in some way. The primary thing that these voices do that are not of the Lord, they bring guilt and they bring fear and sometimes confusion that come. The Bible talks about being double-minded we hear something and we have an impression, oh, this is what we need to do and so forth. But then we begin to think about it. And then another voice says, no, 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 and gives us another option. And then we be get confused and not know what to do because we become double-minded. And the Bible says in James 1 that a double-minded man uh, can't receive anything from the Lord. He's unstable. So the clarity of voices is very important. And this is where deliverance comes in. To get these things out of my life that want to speak to me and guide me and direct me that are not of the Lord. And if I follow them, eventually I'm going to have problems. So I made a little list that might help you with this. And I've been talking lately about guilt, and I'll probably talk more about that. But when a voice comes that brings me guilt, feelings of guilt, I've done something wrong or something. Uh, we, we know that 
if it's compulsive, something, uh, guilt brings us compulsion. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. This is not God because the Holy Spirit says you can make a choice. When a voice brings confusion, this is not God. The Holy Spirit brings clarity. When a voice brings shame, this is not God. God doesn't come to shame us, although many people are controlled by shame. Instead of shame, we have this surety that this is a way. A voice comes and brings fear. The Holy Spirit's voice brings us faith. When God speaks, even like when Peter said to the Lord, command me to come out to you, he was imparted with faith by that voice to walk on the water. A voice that is artificial. <laughs> you can tell sometimes, well, what is this? The Holy Spirit's voice is authentic. And finally, if a voice brings fear, it's not of the Lord because the voice of the Lord is of love. So we, we need to be able to discern voices. Even uh, all our life, I think, it's going to go on. Less and less uh, the voice of the enemy will come. But if you're hearing voices, you know that it's not from the Lord unless of the things that I just said to you. And if you know that you're hearing something, voices that are troubling you and so forth, then you need deliverance. And take authority over those voices and say and renounce. And, and even if it's uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, you'll have discernment. So it's very important that you understand this. We're, we're not to <laughs> make friends with our voices because the only friend we want to make is with the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice of our God and our Father, our Lord. I hope you understand. So it's important uh, that you deal with these things and get free. I'm Micah Bell. And this is Deliverance Talk.